Greetings, my fellow YouTubers. I'm Dual, aka the Big D, a Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. And today I'm going to review the just now released Elton John biopic Rocket Man. I just got back from seeing it at the theater, and I must admit it was really good. Believe me, if you like some of those recent music biopics, where if it was Oh, I don't know, like Walk the Line or, well, last year's Bohemian Rhapsody. I'm going to say you will love Rocket Man. Now, the movie stars Taron Egerton. You may know him from the Kingsman movies, which those were pretty good. And they were actually produced by, this, by Matthew Vaughn, who also produced the Kingsman movies. But anyway, Egerton plays... Elton John, and, and well, we actually kind of get to see him from his youth, of going from being a child prodigy at a music academy, from becoming a big international superstar. It did have some kind of fantasy moments, and so how it made his final pick feel like he also had a bit of a musical in because we get to hear some of Elton's songs, matter if it's maybe actual songs or maybe instrumentals because well we did hear a little bit of an instrumental version of Candle in the Wind but we got to hear several other good Elton songs anyway let's see we uh, well I don't know too many of the stars there was also Jamie Bell who plays his Elton's well good friend and songwriting colleague Bernie uh, Bryce Dallas Howard's in this but there's several others some of them I'm not quite too familiar with unfortunately now I will give credit to well, the only kind of supporting character I found I had read about I don't know if she's ever done anything was this gal named Rachel Muldoon and she played Kiki D who performed that great song with, of a duet that is with Elton don't go breaking my heart that was just amazing you'll get to hear a little bit more of that at the end the last bit of the end credits. I have to admit that was just as good as the original version because that's one of my big positives. I praised Egerton's performance and, and he did a great job in singing the Elton songs, just like how Joaquin Phoenix did for Johnny for doing Johnny Cash and Walk the Line, and Rami Malek we did Frey Mercury and Bohemian Rhapsody. I must admit, that was really amazing. Oh. Yeah, we got to hear some lots of our good Elton songs. Like, um, Benny and the Jets, that's a good song. And Crocodile Rock, one of my absolute favorites. Let's see now. Hmm. Oh yeah, Saturday Night's Alright for Fighting. That's a good Elton song. Oh, and of course he did I'm Still Standing in the end. Now, of course, we start with seeing Elton all dressed up when he's about to go on for a concert. But we think he is in the beginning. But however, he's going to be of a rehab, actually, to explain everything that's been going on with him. Yeah, we get to see him. Through all of this. Now, unfortunately, what am I? Well, this is factually kind of a draw between positive and negative. Was I had forgotten that, about his attractiveness to men in a way because, well, this kind of had the first double two male sex scene on, in, on the silver screen. That was a major shock here. Yeah. As this movie is rated R, as it has some light sexual content, I, since they don't use light in the, well, the MPAA's mentions of what the range for. So when it says sexual content, I just kind of call it light. Okay. Well, anyway, even so, despite all of that, I still loved the movie. It was just the coolest I have Coolest 
most fun of a musical biopic I have seen since Bohemian Rhapsody last year. Taron Egerton nails this, Elton John. I give him a thumbs up for that. So anyway, if you're an El if you're an Elton fanatic, I'd say go see this. Or if you're really interested in it, go see it. This has already been getting... Excuse me. <sighs> Sorry. But yeah, go see Rocket Man. You won't be disappointed. As long as you're not barred by the... Well, you know, I don't really want to bring it up again. <laughs> but I think you really like it. It's very good. Cast was great. Everything in it was just good. The music was great. Like I said, Taron Egerton nails it. Anyway, this film's already been certified fresh on Rotten Tomatoes, which I am a frequent visitor there, just to see what's going on. Well, like I said, Rocket Man, definitely go see. Anyway, tell me what you thought about Rocket Man in the comment section if you have if you've already seen it. What did you think about it? What did you think of the music and what have you? I'd love to know. Anyway, also like and subscribe. Because now that I'm at 100 views, I am preparing for my Q&A tomorrow. Now, you still got time, but not much, though. You got less than less than four and a half hours. Well, actually, you've all got almost four hours. So, anyway, thank you for watching. Until next time, I'm the Big D saying see ya.